if you were to ask somebody how do you enter the kingdom of God most people would say well believe that's right but if you were to ask the apostles they would say something else in Acts 14 23 in addition to faith he said it says here they encourage them they strengthen the souls of the disciples Acts 14 22 encouraging them to continue in the faith saying through many tribulations we must enter the kingdom of God <clears throat> have you ever heard a message that through many tribulations we enter God's kingdom that's what the apostles preached a lot of things that we hear in Christendom today are not what the apostles preached and do you know why so many preachers can preach all that rubbish and get away with it it's because they know that 90 percent of the people sitting here in front of me don't read their Bibles carefully that's why they can get away with it <clears throat> I saw an advert uh, a leaflet put out by one of the well-known Indian preachers and he was asking for saying support my work you know that's a very common thing support my work and uh, he quoted a verse there he who gives to a prophet will receive a prophet's reward Matthew 10:41. And I, as soon as I saw it, I said, there's no such verse in the Bible. Did you know that when I quoted it just now? You see, that's the thing. 90% of people don't know the Bible. There is no such verse in the Bible which says, he who gives to a prophet will receive a prophet's reward. What it says is, he who receives a prophet <clears throat> in the name of a prophet will receive a prophet's reward that means when a prophet comes and speaks you receive his message yeah well then you can get a reward too it's got nothing to do with giving money and the next verse <clears throat> it says verse the verse after that if you give a cup of cold water it's not to do with money again if you give a cup of cold water to a disciple you will not lose his reward but they have taken a little bit from here and a little bit from there and mixed it I've never seen such deception like that <clears throat> and um, this is the tragedy today that so many preachers know you put a verse like that he who gives to a prophet will receive a prophet's reward Matthew 10 41 they know that 99 percent of believers will never look up that verse to see whether it's true or not I don't even need to look up that verse to know it's not in the Bible you know brothers and sisters if you don't want to be deceived in the last days by wolves who come in sheep's clothing get to know your Bibles that's the only way and uh, that's why I say you must never go to a meeting without a Bible and every verse that is quoted look it up read your Bible regularly get familiar with it that is how I have been protected from a lot of deception <clears throat>